But there was no bread to go with the Marmite, obviously. Every single aisle in Tesco is like this. In my loungy clothes, so I'm trying to glam it up with a flower headband. Hello everyone, today is the 18th of March 2020. I will be uploading this tomorrow because I just uploaded a vlog here. Here. So, as of yesterday evening, I am employed but I don't actually have a job to go to. It means I'm not eligible for any benefits, so any universal credit. Um, I'm not sick, so I'm not eligible for statutory sick pay or company sick pay. Um, so I'm basically left without anything until further notice. So Pizza Hut have decided that they no longer want their front of house staff members in for the rest of the week because sales are incredibly low. So we only made 240 pounds on an entire shift yesterday. So they're just going to open with a manager and a back of house staff member, which I think is incredibly unfair to say, oh, we'll keep some of you, but the rest of you, fend for yourselves. I don't care how you pay your bills. Been a staff member here for two years, but we don't give a shit, which may not be how they actually feel. They don't really know what they're doing at the moment, but that is how it feels to a staff member that's been there two years to be told, oh, sorry, we're going to suspend your shifts for the rest of the week without pay. Yeah because we don't really know what's going on yet. I just think that's incredibly unfair. It needs to be all staff members or you allow everyone to, to continue working. Yeah, so that happened yesterday evening, which means I will only get paid for four and a half hours this week. And we have no updates yet as to what's happening in regards to how we claim any money to live off. All I will say is that even though I, I am having a moan, I know that I am very fortunate in the fact that I live with Jack's parents. So we do not have rent to pay. We have a roof over our heads. There will always be food to eat. I do still have a lot of outgoings, my own personal outgoings, you know, in excess of like 400 plus pounds. But I, I'm kind of making this video one to rant and two, just to say that there is help available. I was like, oh yeah, that, there's gonna be no help. Um, even though I'm not getting any help with any income, I can't apply for universal credit. I can't apply for any benefits. I'm not eligible for anything. There is a lot of help that companies are trying to put in place to help people as much as they can. So I have a car on finance. I pay just under 200 pounds a month. So without any income, I'm kind of screwed. Um, I rang the company this morning, which is the Hyundai, um, I'm not really sure what they're called, I think it's, it's like HCP. Um, so if you have a car on finance with HCP, they were incredibly helpful and they're actually going to suspend my payment for next month when this month's payment clears. I have an itchy nose, sorry. But I've just paid this month, it's still waiting to clear, but after that one is cleared, they're going to suspend my payments until, my, yeah, May. That is only if I can't afford the payments. If the money is there, they said they will take it unless I tell them otherwise. But if I physically cannot afford it, they will suspend the payment until May, which I think was very, very helpful. I'm gonna try and ring up Vodafone, so my mobile phone provider, and see if there's anything they can do, because that's still like 56, 57 pounds a month for that. There's not really much I can do about my car insurance, I don't think. I'm gonna give Lloyds Bank a call to see if they can postpone my credit card payment. There is still things in place that if you do ring the companies, they might be helpful. They may not, but give it a go. This is me having a moan, but I know that I am very fortunate in the fact that I do have a roof over my head. And it's not like, even though I, I don't like getting behind in bills, still panics me and gives me anxiety to even think of getting behind in bills. It's not as bad as it could be for me, as it might be for other people, so I am very aware of that fact. I just thought, I have nothing to do today, and I thought the only thing, literally the only thing, I can update you guys on is COVID-19 and coronavirus and my situation, because yesterday when I made a video, I was like, oh, you know, I'm still being allowed to work, you know, it's all good, like, it's it's not. Boris Johnson is telling people not to go to restaurants and cinemas, so Odeon and Cineworld have closed, but they're not physically closing the restaurants they're still running them so they can't claim on their insurance to give their staff pay. So they're just like, oh, you know, run along children. Like you're just not gonna get paid for a while. It's all good, right? This company is so, this company, this country is so fucked up in the way it's doing things. There are a few companies, I've heard that Boots is still going to be paying their staff their contracted hours. This is a message for Pizza Hut. It would be really grand if you could do the same for your staff. Staff members that have been there, there is a lady that has been there 17 or 19 years. If you could pay her her contracted hours, pay me my contracted hours, that would mean that you actually care about your staff, but no. Instead, you're just like, oh, well, we're gonna open with a back of house, we're gonna open with a manager. 
because we can effectively run the store like that and we're just not going to give a shit about our front of house and the fact that you have bills to pay. That's very selfish. I think that's a very poor decision. I know that they don't really know too much yet and they're kind of in a similar situation where it's all up in the air and they don't really know what's happening at least make the decision to care about your stuff like i have applied for a job to be a fruit packer because there was an advert to say that if you have been dismissed during this covid19 pandemic then we are in desperate need of fruit packers so i applied for that there was an advert for more tesco stuff because i know that tesco have been inundated with customers and I'm guessing they need shelf stockers and cashiers and just people in general just extra bodies so i have applied to work at tesco that is just because i I need money, I need an income, same as everyone else. It's not like I can even self-isolate and then apply for statutory sick pay because you have to, your entire household then has to say that they're self-isolating and then Jack's mum and dad would lose their income, so would Jack, so would Jack's friend that lives here. If I hadn't have got my hours back by Sunday, my idea was that I was going to self-isolate and just say, look, I'm going to claim for statutory sick pay because that is the only way that I can get an income even though it is only £94 a week, that's still money. Um, but then Jack's mum informed me that everyone then has to self-isolate so that doesn't just affect me, that affects the whole household. But if that is the only way that people are eligible for an income at the moment with a lot of businesses, what are we supposed to do? What the fuck are we supposed to do? So we went to the shops yesterday because I was panicking that we had nothing in. Not like we didn't panic buy at all, I don't agree with that. I think we have fucked ourselves up by panic buying. If people had just treated this as a normal situation, just on their normal shop, there wouldn't be so much of a panic. People have created this panic. So the people that weren't panic buying in the first place are now panic buying because they're like, shit, everyone else has panic bought all this stuff. There's nothing left. Let's panic buy all this stuff that we don't need and so forth. Like I said yesterday, why are you panic buying toilet paper? Like drip dry, just wipe yourself on a fucking towel. Like. It doesn't make you have the shits. Leave some toilet paper for the elderly people, please. And also, you know, like bags of pasta. And I went to find a fucking tin of spaghetti hoops and there was not one tin left in the store. Not one fucking tin. The only tin stuff that we found in a newsagent's, not Tesco, was breakfast in a tin. The big barbecue breakfast in a tin. It's the only tinned goods we could find. Um, because people are going fucking nuts. You're causing more of a panic than actually COVID-19 is. <sighs> The actual virus itself isn't that scary. It's how the world, the government, the people, everyone is handling it, the businesses. That's the scary shit, essentially. It is a cold, it's pneumonia, it's a cough. It's, it's no different than things that we've handled before, but this whole pandemic, this craziness, this need to buy everything on the shelves, be so fucking selfish that you only give a shit about yourself and of no one else. This is what's causing the problem. In all honesty, I think a lot of us have had COVID-19 or coronavirus in December. Everyone was incredibly ill in December, especially in my work, in my area. I know a lot of people that are off work with the flu, but if you look back and you think, oh, maybe my symptoms, you know, maybe I did have coronavirus. You probably did. It didn't have a name then. It wasn't this huge pandemic. People weren't scaremongering other people. Um, so we went to Tesco, even though I knew that people were saying there was nothing. I thought, you know when you really crave something and I was just craving spaghetti hoops. I love them. Don't like spaghetti, I like spaghetti hoops. And so I just thought, you know, I really, I really wanna get these spaghetti hoops with like a jacket potato or something. And because my heart was set on these spaghetti hoops, you know, as you do, I couldn't find any. I was like, uh, uh, oh my God, but there's, there's uh, like my heart. Seeing absolutely nothing on the shelves, like not one tin of peas, one tin of baked beans, a tin of spaghetti hoops. Suddenly kind of the ball dropped and I was like, shit. Because even though I knew what was happening, I just kind of thought there's always gonna be something left. There's gonna be one of something. So, you know, we bought the essentials. I bought probes and wagon wheels and Walker's crisps. Oh, and good old Marmite. Of course I bought some Marmite, but there was no bread to go with the Marmite, obviously. But I will just eat this by the spoonful. Derrily Dunkers mini eggs and I am joking like we did buy ready meals and actually substantial food but there wasn't any pasta or tin stuff and anything what is wrong with the world there is a film called contagion which I think a lot of people have been watching because it's just this trending film at the moment but people are comparing contagion this film 
to coronavirus and people watching this film are going more crazy. I don't know. I really don't know. I just wanted to upload a little bit of a rant and a little bit of an update and just kind of my thoughts. So now I am at home for God knows how long. In a way it is nice. It's like, okay, like I'm at home, I can do my own thing. Like I can hide away from the world and just pretend that it's all fine. But then you think I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna have a single penny in my bank account next month. But again, will make a point in saying that Jack, my other half, he is self-employed, he is still working as a barber, so he was like, you know, there's no point stressing because I'm, I'm still getting an income. The point is, like, that's your income. As much as I would love to be like, I'll leech off your income, it's physically not enough to support both of us and I feel really bad that he continues to work. I mean, it's great that he's allowed to continue to work because self-employed people cannot claim statutory sick pay or anything, but there is a petition which I will leave a link to in the description. If you would like to sign that and you live in the UK, please sign the petition. So I am aware that I am fortunate in various different ways. At the same time, I'm still allowed to vent and complain because it's still not perfect. I can't be on a 32 hour a week contract and then be told, sorry, bye. There has got to be some kind of law against that. There has got to be something put in place where employers have to pay their employees. This is crazy, guys. This is actually mental. That is that, guys. So I want to write in the comments how COVID-19 coronavirus is affecting you. Like, are you still working? Are you getting paid? If anyone has any tips of where I can go from here of how to apply for any income or if there's do I have a leg to stand on in regards to do they have to pay me my 32 hour contract whether I'm working or not seeing as it's not my fault that I can't work if anyone has anything anything to add anything at all please write in the description or give me a message I'll leave my twitter my instagram in the description I can't even job hunt because it's not that I want to leave my job at all I just want to be paid <laughs> And even if I did want to look for another position just to even boost hours, um, a lot of companies aren't actually hiring. They've stalled the recruitment process because of COVID-19. Don't think we've ever experienced anything like this. It's weird, it feels like you're in a film. It genuinely does. But you know what? Maybe this will all blow over in a week. Maybe, maybe it'll be a month. But so many events have got cancelled so we have something called dickens and sweets festival which i look forward to each year where you basically go and wear all your flowery headbands and there's music and stalls and it's just a lot of fun but they have been cancelled which you know they're in may and july or june so they're expecting this to last i mean i'm hoping that it blows over in a month because the economy will crash there will be a recession everything will go to shit but there needs to be a way that we can keep going forward. So I am gonna go because I have no more to say on the subject, but stay safe, stay well, stay in contact. Always love to hear from you all, even if it's not about this, just about anything, just be like, hey. So I will see you all very soon. Bye guys.